If it isn't the ghost of Christmas pest. <laughs> Max, Max, this is a holy season, and I'm not going to let your rancor corrupt the goodwill that is in my heart. So, happy holidays, you despicable little Grinch. <laughs> let me tell you something. Hey, anyone, I made it myself. No, thanks, honey. It's got rum in it. Oh, cool. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I propose a toast. Here's to Santa for giving me the only Christmas present I wanted, celebrating with my favorite cousin and best friends. Merry Christmas. And happy Merry Kwanzaa. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, Sir Claire, I think I can speak for everyone when I say you're a very kind and giving woman, and you're very attractive. OK, that's speaking for me. If it makes you feel any better, I damn near killed a man to get here. Is that an apology for me? Yes. Sinclair, you've reminded me that Christmas is about sharing. You've also reminded me that if you stand too long in some bars in one spot, your feet will stick to the floor. <laughs> Can we go? Sinclair, we all let worldly matters get in the way of what really matters. He's right. Let's go home. Yeah. OK. But first, can I get my old friends and my new friends together for just one sing-along? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from the top. No, wait, wait, wait. Where's Santa? Well, I didn't see him leave. Oh. Maybe he was supposed to bring us together. Maybe his job here is done and he's just moved on. Maybe it's all a part of the wonder and magic that his sister. You know what they say is true. You don't buy beer, you rent it. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Chugged Asti Spumante in a whirlpool tub. Hey! <laughs> Maxine, what are you doing here? Well, those idiots at the ski lodge lost my reservation, so I called the number you left, hopped a flight, two bags of peanuts later, voila! <laughs> Where's a good hijacker when you need one? <laughs> Where's a good man when you need one? Hey, look, let me tell you. Okay, all right, you two are not gonna argue the whole time you're here, are you? Fine. I propose a pact. For the next three days, there will be no yelling. There will be no slamming of doors, not even an upraised finger, unless you do not think you can handle it, little Miss Flapjaw. I'm more than capable of civility, you little cretin. <laughs> From now on, just this. <laughs> Are these two with you? Oh, what's going on? I'm Constable Ropes in Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Yes, there are black Mounties. <laughs> I apprehended Miss James and Mr. Jones engaged in the willful destruction of the Canadian National Forest. All right, you can't make it stick. Can't give him a citation on Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve for trees, too, eh? Even if they don't celebrate it as we do. <laughs> oh, sorry, Obi. Maybe we can pick up a tree in town. Uh, it just seems like all my family traditions are being stripped away. I mean, no tree, no hole in the wall, no badger, no outdoor toilet, nothing. Is that your van parked on the road, Mr. Jones? You parked within 300 centimeters of a hydrant, eh? Maybe I did have a country-ass Christmas. But why my memories feel with such sweet nostalgia? I told you. You spent them with people you love. 
So you're saying one day I'll look back on this sorry Christmas with the same fuzzy feeling? I hope so. Mistletoe. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to remembering that one already. <laughs> Obi, man. Obi, man, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I see the happy truce is back in effect. No, not really. But, you know, after much debate, Broomhilda and I came to the conclusion that it just takes way too much energy to be nice. Yes, once Beelzebub and I started criticizing each other's gifts and calling each other's name, it kind of rekindled that old flame, you know? <laughs> Christmas miracles keep on coming. Oh, come on, you two, let's not be too harsh. Yeah, Max gave the chair to herself, but she had it delivered here. Obviously, she wants us to enjoy it, too. Check this out. From Max to Max. P.S. Stop reading my card and keep your cheeks off my chair. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. Fire it up, Obi. I'm going for a ride. <laughs> it's no big whoop. It's just a chair. All right, Tressa, but it's right here. Uh, oh. 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 oh, 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 Obi, I think I'm cheating on you. <laughs> Take the chair with my own dolly. Fa la 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 la, you can't beat Max. <laughs> so long. Hey, what the freak you do to my chair? Nothing. We uh, did, however, drill five holes and kind of bolted to the floor. All right, okay, I'm going to this thing right now. I'm a lawyer, and that is malicious bolting with intent to screw. <laughs> Max, please, you owe us. Been raiding our refrigerator for years, watching our television, and I do believe those are my socks. In other words, it's a little thing called tit for tat. Talk to a tat. <laughs> Assuming that each massage is worth a dollar at 20 massages per week, you should pay off your debt to this household in exactly four months and three days. This round goes to Satan's helpers. But be warned, Satan knows me big. Yeah, maybe you got a point. But you can't tell me that you wouldn't have done the same thing I did up at that podium. Absolutely not. I would have done with that award what you told him to do with it. <laughs> it's been a while since somebody pissed me off the way you do. I like you, too. Uh-uh. Get up. Move. Get out the chair. I need this chair. Get up. Get up. Get up. The sharks made short work of her. They stuck her with a four-figure lunch tab at the Russian tea room. Man, I was dragged into the kitchen, and, and then I was, I was made to scrub pots and pans. Hey, does this thing have turbo? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, when she phoned Flavor, I was still diligently working. I rushed over and found her cleavage deep in suds. <laughs> so I, I pulled some strings with my friend Boris the maitre d'. The way I see it, she'll be in debt to me for years. Let me watch you for five minutes and we'll call it even. 